Hi, I'm Jen Maleka, the Holistic Health Boss, your functional diagnostic health practitioner and expert. And in this video, I want to tell you about a health sign and assessment that you can do using your own forehead. Now, I'll never forget the day that I wore my hair pulled back with a headband and my coworker called me out for having a really big forehead. I had been self-conscious about it before, but that day made me feel ultra self-conscious moving forward. The idea of like growing out my bangs for more long, luscious locks around my face and less hairstyling work quickly vanished after that com comment. Now, at the time, I had no idea that my forehead could be used as a tool to evaluate which foods were right or wrong for my body, such as gluten. Sometimes what we take for granted or dislike about our bodies can hold the most valuable clues about our health. For example, the extra weight that you might be putting on around the middle can be a big clue about blood sugar imbalances, toxic exposures, chronic stress, and hormone dysfunction. Or weight gain specifically in like the breast and hips areas of our body, that correlates strongly with excess estrogen circulating around, which can be true for both men and women. And early signs of gray hair are linked to high stress and low levels of glutathione in the body, which is the body's master antioxidant and detoxification nutrient. When it comes to feeling like your best self, your body actually holds a lot of the answers. Conventional Western medicine takes more of a, let's stop the issue by taking this pill for that approach instead of checking in with the body to understand where it's coming from and what might be causing what it is that you're experiencing. That's why it's so common to get prescribed medication such as birth control for things like acne only to have it partially resolve the issue and for something new to pop up. It's like chasing holes in a sinking boat. This conventional approach works perfectly in acute and serious situations such as car accidents or catastrophic events when measures need to be taken immediately to stop the bleeding and to save a limb or a life. But they aren't effective for the common chronic health and weight issues that most of us face on a daily basis. Now we could spend hours breaking down all of your body parts and what clues they hold about your health. Correlating body parts with symptoms and nerve meridians have been the main focus in Eastern medicine practices such as Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. But for today, let's focus on the little nuggets about your health that your forehead has to share and how it can be used as a gluten-free food sensitivity test. So in this video, I want to specifically share with you three super clues that your forehead might be holding about gluten and your health, and then what you can do with that information to help you feel like your very best self. Now, these three clues will give you, the in, give you insights into gluten sensitivity, digestion, liver health, hormonal balance, and thyroid function. Super clue number one is related to metabolism and thyroid function specifically. Now, I first learned about the forehead's correlation with your health status when I started studying thyroid conditions on a deeper level. Hair loss in the widow's peak area up here of the hairline or forehead points to a sluggish thyroid, usually indicating hypothyroidism or maybe Hashimoto's. Also missing the outer third portion of your eyebrow over here, also in the forehead region, is another strong clue indicating low thyroid function that should be investigated. Now, super clue number two is about digestion and gluten sensitivity. I was fascinated when I heard Dr. Tom O'Brien, one of the pioneers in gluten sensitivity research, quote a study that connected the dots between the size of your forehead and your susceptibility to gluten sensitivity. 
In the study, they found that a large forehead directly correlates with being sensitive to gluten and or having celiac disease. So much so that the study stated, quote, this sign along with the presence of other clinical signs and symptoms should alert a physician to test a patient for celiac disease, end quote. I removed gluten from my diet long before he hearing this and felt so much better as a result. I lost weight, gained energy, and didn't get bloated anymore. I was never diagnosed with celiac, but food sensitivity and other functional lab tests indicated that gluten-containing foods were definitely not my, like, not my friends, just like my large forehead indicated. Now, super clue number three is about liver and detoxification. You may have heard how acne in specific areas of the face can correlate with your diet, stress, dirty hands, and allergic reactions. Well, there's actually some truth to this. According to the nerve meridians used in Eastern medicine, the area of your forehead is linked to your major detoxification organs, such as your liver, gallbladder, kidneys, um, and bladder itself. Acne on your forehead can indicate a backup in your body's ability to detox and process toxins or excess hormones such as estrogen adequately. When I was in the midst of healing my Hashimoto's, detoxing from toxic mold and estrogen dominance, I had forehead acne for the very first time in my entire life. And even more interesting, on an emotional level, forehead acne can also be related to anger, anxiety, fear, frustration, worry, and grief, which were definitely some emotions I was feeling at that time. On top of it all, all of these clues can also be connected. In order for your thyroid to function at full steam, your digestive tract and detox organs need to be running effectively together. An inflamed digestive system from a gluten sensitivity will allow more toxins into your bloodstream, leading to liver overload and then taking down your thyroid along with it. And the vicious cycle could go on and on and on. So next time you look in the mirror, take a close look at your forehead to see what it might be saying about your health. If you notice any of, any of these clues that I mentioned, you'll want to do maybe a couple of things. One is confirm a gluten sensitivity with a functional food sensitivity test and functional gut health test. Two, test your thyroid to see if your thyroid hormones are in optimal ranges. And three, boost your detox capacity with some high quality liver support supplements and naturally detoxifying foods such as beets, dandelion grains, and cruciferous vegetables. I've learned to love the size of my forehead because of the valuable insights and empowerment it gives me about my health. And as many of my clients and I have experienced, it may not be possible to maybe change the size of your forehead, but you can learn to appreciate the health knowledge it has to offer. And it is possible to get your thyroid, digestion, detoxification, back on track so that you can feel like your best self. Now, if you found this really helpful and insightful, I would love for you to share this with a friend or a family member who might find it useful too. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.